So this episode we'll be talking about how you can get into reading Aquaman comics. So lucky for you, the Aquaman series has recently restarted in 2011. So it's with the new 52 relaunch. It's the same stories that we had before, but more modern twists. So if you just skip everything else about Aquaman and you just read these comics, you're not going to be missing out on a whole lot. I mean, there's still awesome Aquaman stories, but if you just stick to the new 52, you are really going to get a good sense of who Aquaman is and just get his great adventures that he's always been on. If you're unsure about whether you want to read Aquaman comics or not, you are missing out on a lot. If you're kind of upset because you hear all the naysayers, what they say, you have to realize that the only people that think Aquaman suck are the people that only go off the bias of the Super Friends, which was an animated series in the late 70s and early 80s. And basically the Super Friends just destroyed all the superheroes they had in that show. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible show. So if you're worried about Aquaman because of all the people that say that he sucks, the people that say that are the people that don't read his comics um, and should not be saying anything. They have no, there's no validity to any of their points because they have not read his comics and they don't know how badass he is. So if you want to know how badass he is, these are his powers and his storyline. He was born from a human and the Atlantean queen. He's half human, half Atlantean. He has super strength. He can lift a boat out of the water. He can lift a truck carrying lots of supplies up in the air. He has super tough skin, so most of the time bullets, if they even cause any type of injury on him, it's just a little scratch on his skin. He's super fast. He can leap up onto skyscrapers and jump from building to building very quickly. He's super fast in the water. He's faster than most animals can travel. He can communicate and control wildlife. So he doesn't talk to fish like people think he does because fish aren't smart enough to hold on conversation, but he can control them and influence them. And in fact, if you read the comics, especially the new 52, you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff involving his control of animals especially when he summons some sharks out of the water to eat things. Besides his superpowers, he is loaded. He has tons of money. So even if you want to say, oh, you know, maybe his superpowers aren't cool, which his superpowers are really cool, trust me. But even if you say that, he is as rich, probably richer than Bruce Wayne Batman. So when you say money is the greatest superpower, Aquaman is loaded, so even if he didn't have superpowers, he has the cash to, you know, make it so he's awesome. He is in control of a Atlantean society, so he's in control of this underwater city, which in itself is cool, because if you grew up with the, the myth of Atlantis, this is, the comics explore that, like the myth behind it, what happened, you finally get to learn why did Atlantis sink, and you get to see this guy that not only has these awesome superpowers, that, you know, are comparable to Superman in some ways, but at the same time has this identity crisis and has to lead this people, but then bring it together with other people. And it's just such a great comic. And if you've ever felt like you don't fit in, this is really a comic for you to read. It's just, it'll really touch you. And a lot of times you can kind of understand where Aquaman or Arthur Curry is coming from. If you're into badass redheads, he also has a totally awesome um, wife, significant other, Mira. Um, she just kicks her ass. She controls water. She can draw water out of the human body and kill someone. She can control ocean waters. It's She's a great companion for him, really strong. So it's two superheroes in a marriage that works and... They have their problems and they have their disagreements, but, you know, seeing that relationship work too is really great. It also, in the comics, addresses the jokes that you may hear about Aquaman and actually makes it something that he has to overcome, which is maybe not something I necessarily agree with him putting in there, but it's still great. So if you want to get into reading Aquaman, I suggest you start with the new 52 Aquaman Z issue zero, and then go issue one, two, three, and all the way up to 34, 
If you want, there's also uh, two tie-ins with the Justice League, so you can always flip over to one comic of the Justice League and back, and right in the comics they tell you when to switch over and just read optional a Justice League comic or two. So there's 34 issues out as of right now with me making this video, and it's a great time to get started with Aquaman. It's a great time to start. This is a great series that DC has relaunched and redid with a modern twist. And I think at the same time, you should also start on the Justice League, which also started, and read both Aquaman and Justice League at the same time if you can, because they're two both great comics. So, in summary, if you want to get started with Aquaman, start with the New 52, start with issue 0, 1, to go on from there all the way up to 34, and then every month you can stay up to date on what's going on in Aquaman's life and what's going on in his adventures and how he's evolved. After you read the series, you can click on our video and the Aquaman comic series. Like this video, subscribe for more comic book reviews, character reviews, epic history, and more.